guys welcome back today's video is going to be a quick one i'm going to be sharing some new kind of new drugstore products that are amazing they're awesome and they're new to me maybe they're not so new to the store maybe they are i just figured i'd share them with you guys because that's what i do i love to share things that excite me so that you guys can get excited as well and possibly save some money because these are some amazing amazing affordable products that you can find in your local drugstore ulta target places like that so if you want to find out all of these products that have been just making me really really happy then you know what to do just keep watching and let's roll the video so I guess I'll start with eye stuff first. The very first product I wanted to share with you is a quad from CoverGirl. This is their quad of four shadows in the shade Coffee Shop. And I really like it because it has a great mixture of neutrals, but you have a lot of beautiful bronzy, metallic, just beautiful bronze shades, which I think are great for every day. Great for vamping up at night as well. Just really, really pretty colors like this chocolatey brown. Makes me think of coffee. I love this metallic-y bronzy brown, this beautiful kind of yellow green gold, and then a nice shade to highlight with with this pretty, just really eye-catching white shade. It's a great little quad. I don't know if they sell this anymore online or in store. I got this a couple years ago, but I will look for it online and I will link it for you guys as well as some more of the CoverGirl quads in general because I'm pretty impressed with their pigmentation and they offer a nice little selection. It's a great kind of go-to for traveling or just throw it in your gym bag and you just want to refresh in your face a little bit and give some pop to the eyes. These quads are great. I think they're a perfect example of just what you need easy to pick up go do what you need and they're affordable so definitely a favorite of mine is coffee shop and i have a few other ones that i like as well out of the woods i think there's a nude one but they're really really impressive the next eye product is not a surprise i've mentioned it before in past favorites just in videos in general it's the infallible paints metallic single shadows from l'oreal and this one in number 402 brass knuckles is such a metallic beautiful bronzy shade it's what i have on the outer corners like halfway onto the lid gorgeous 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 amazingly pigmented shadows so impressive for just a couple of dollars definitely worth looking into i believe there's three or four more shades within this line of shadows they need to release more shades more colors it's just amazing in general the formula is awesome and the last eye product is from maybelline this is their color tattoo eye chromes they're basically like a liquid eyeshadow i love all the shades but this one in particular electric emerald is such a pretty like mermaidy meets christmas i don't know it's just a really gorgeous green and i love greens like this in the fall in the winter i don't know i just feel like this is a great color to gravitate to because it's different very eye-catching and these are so amazing to play with because they let you work with them they let you apply them but they don't dry or set too quickly and then once they do dry down after a couple of minutes then they set they stay they don't budge you do have to go in a little bit with eye makeup remover on top of makeup wipes at night but Definitely worth it if you're looking for something that's going to last a long time. And this one in Electric Emerald has just been a favorite of mine of all of my liquid eyeshadows. I think this is just so awesome. Moving into the lip category, I have a combo that I've been adoring. I actually wore part of this combo in my last video, the gloss on top. And I don't know, I just really like these two together. It's what I have on today. So the lip liner is from Wet n Wild. This is a newer kind of product within their lineup. It's called the Perfect Pout gel lip liners and this is in the most nude shade called bear to comet and it's actually not really that nude i feel like it's more of a rosy or a dusty rose it definitely shows up on the lips it definitely adds color i've been known to wear this on its own you know lining my lips filling them and done it's a really really pretty color but i like it paired with this gloss lately this is actually the amour shine liquid lip colors from milani and they're liquid lip colors so i don't know if they're trying to go with saying it's a liquid lipstick it's definitely not that it's basically a very opaque very very pigmented lip gloss in my opinion long wearing and this one in delight the very first shade in zero one or number one is a beautiful soft pastel ballerina beautiful soft petal pink and i just think this combo is just giving me life right now and i had to mention it because both are so affordable and the very last product i wanted to mention definitely isn't that new it's just newer to me in fact i've had this sitting in my collection of makeup for if not months, years, and I just recently, within the last couple weeks, pulled it out and decided to play with it. And I'm really, really liking it. I don't know why it took me this long to play with it, but it's the NYX Ombre Blush in the shade number four, Mauve Me. This is what the packaging looks like, and this is what the blush looks like. It's a pretty little black packaging, kind of reminds me of NARS. Just very sleek and simple. It does have a nice full-size mirror, and then as you can see, the blush is definitely ombre. This is, to me, a dupe for the ombre blushes from It Cosmetics, which are definitely pricier, and I do like them, but 
I think I like this one more because it's matte, there isn't any shimmer to it. It's really easy to work with. You can dip into this top portion that has a lighter pink there and I feel like you'll get just a soft flush of color or if you wanna deepen it, you just go down here or you can even swirl your brush all around. The way I like to use it is with the Real Techniques um, blush brush and just kind of dip it right in there and just pop it in right here. And one of the things I've been learning with blush is working it more in this direction instead of putting it right here. Don't do the whole and apply blush because what happens is when you're done smiling, that part that's way up there just goes right down here. So when you're applying blush there, you're just bringing your face down. That's not what you want. You want to apply blush where your actual cheekbones are. So basically between where you contour and where you highlight, just right in there. And then if you have any product left, you can dust it along the apples of your cheeks just to give that ombre effect. But you don't want to put the most application right here because all you're doing is bringing or basically dragging your face down, which is doing the opposite of what you want to achieve. You want to look youthful, happy, you know, blushing. You don't want to look haggard so that's a little tip from me to you and that's the last product so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna be honest i've been kind of unmotivated lately i don't know if it's the weather it's so hot but i just don't really have any ideas of what to film next so if you have any requests please let me know in the comment box below it really keeps me motivated and keeps me inspired so please request and if you don't see me next week i just didn't have any ideas and i just needed a break but hopefully i'll be back soon if not next week the week after so request get me motivated so i can get some ideas and i will catch you guys either next monday or the one after that i love you guys thanks for sticking with me and i'll see you guys very soon bye guys